in the early universe, it was composed of the very, very most elemental building blocks of everything around us. As the universe has cooled, this has distilled out into galaxies and planets and ultimately into you and me. So what we try to do at CERN is to reverse that time and go back to the early universe to see what were those primordial particles that existed out of which everything was constructed. As you can see, CERN is a global name, there's been global press. Um, Force 10 is the core of that network. It is also the outreach of that network to its 11 tier 1 centres. And it challenges our technology but proves the core of high performance data centres, where there's a lot of data, reliability and scalability is critical, Force 10 performs very well. The LHC uh, at CERN is by far the largest uh, particle physics experiment ever conducted. It's a massive installation and this is what you need in order to actually get down and probe the very smallest elemental parts of matter. The experiments are built in underground caverns, 100 meters underground. They are huge detectors of several thousand tons. So we're talking about a very, very large installation. CERN, in generating this, uh, this understanding, generates also a lot of data. To give you an example, one of these detectors is like a digital camera. Uh, the Atlas detector has 100 million readout channels, and the collisions are taking place at a rate of 40 million per second. So it's like a 100 megapixel camera taking 40 million photographs per second. Huge for the data, huge. We do a lot of online filtering but nevertheless, this generates gigabits per second of, of information. And so we need very high performance networks. And Force 10 is at the heart of that infrastructure, not only at the experimental site, where the experiments have some Force 10 routers with more than 5,000 gigabit Ethernet ports, but also in the data center and in the infrastructure, where we have more than 18 uh, of the E1200 series with more than 750 10 gigabit Ethernet ports. So the scale of the networking structure is very, very large to deal with this huge volume of data. I think one of the key things that were important for CERN is, is not only the processing performance, it is the guaranteed performance, the non-blocking architecture. Um, without getting too technical, it is the memory buffering that we have on every port. And in CERN, memory buffering is critical for the amount of data that's been processed to avoid loss of data at any important time. So we're moving an awful lot of data around from storage to CPU and from CERN to other institutes around the world. And Force 10 provides the backbone of that switch. It was an easy call to go with Force 10. We've been very happy with the results.